Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a um, little update to um, the future. A lot of people are asking me, you know, exactly what we know about 2020, uh, 2021, the uh, next year in Windows. And, of course, there's rumors of all sorts of things, and people are asking me, well, is it uh, official or not? The thing is about what is going to happen next year is we don't really know officially. Rumors are there. There's a Mary Jo Foley that is close to a lot of people at Microsoft. Um, of course, mentioned a few things that seem to be what right now the idea is going to be of next year. Also, there's a hint. There was a um, insider preview build released on Thursday. And at the end of that, it says that, of course, you know, if you're on the dev channel, which was before the fast ring, we are testing features uh, that are not tied. They do mention it's not tied to any version of Windows in the future. And the phrase or the wording of that paragraph says some might be tied to 21H1. That's the first version of Windows 10 next year. And then they add that's if 21H1 is happening. So this is interesting because that wording kind of says that it might not happen. So they're maybe hinting at what we think is going to happen, basically. So in next year in Windows, what we are expecting is that there is not going to be a update in the first half of next year for Windows 10 because they will focus on releasing Windows 10X. Windows 10X is that kind of reduced in size version of Windows. It is made to be more of a um, you know lightweight Windows 10. Um, and that means that we would have only one update next year, which would be at the end of the year, which would be the update for 21H2. That is the second half of 2021. We would have a uh, feature update to Windows 10. Now, one of the interesting things also that was mentioned in one blog post that I was reading is how it's not impossible that we do get an update in the first half of 2021. But it would be like the update we're going to get this fall, just a cumulative update, a small update rather than a big feature update that we have in the first half of the year all the time. So, you know, it gives you an idea that many things can happen. But right now, it does seem that the first half of next year is Windows 10 X release. Windows 10 will stay where it is. And Windows 10 will have a feature update at the end of next year. But that does change a few things because uh, some of you have been asking questions like, what happens to the 18-month cycle if there's no update early next year? Will that change? Um, you know, we simply don't know. But if that would not change, that means that everybody that is on the May 2020 update um or late, like even before that, people on the um, that are on the November 2019 update would technically get into their 18-month cycle early next year, which would have pushed them to the version of 21H1. Now, if 21H1 doesn't appear, that means that if they don't change the cycle, it would push them to the May, the the fall update that will have 20H2. Um, instead. So, you know, they don't have to change the 18-month cycle, but it would be probably more interesting to have a 24-month cycle if they do decide to do a one update a year. But, you know, all of that is speculation. All of that is rumors from, you know, tidbits we get here and there from people that are close to Microsoft. Uh, that is kind of interesting. As for features, a lot of people are asking me, what are the new features we would get next year? Well, until now, there's really not a lot of stuff happening. Um, the only few little things we see is updates like uh, there's an update for, you know, uh, they're still continuing the Windows subsystem for Linux and stuff like that. 
But of, apart from that, uh, right now we don't have major big features for the next version of Windows uh, next year or anything. So that's all in you know what's going to happen. And I think it will add to the fact that 2021 will be interesting to uh, examine and to see what we actually will have in reality. And remember, Microsoft can say something but changes its mind quite regularly. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.